Welcome to the video tutorial series about AI Tree System for Unity Engine. In this video, we will show you how to create logic for AI that will patrol the area, react and pursue the player. We will use a standard Unity asset pack for this tutorial, which include player and a robot model, this model we will use for our AI. Let's create a behavior tree in which the AI logic will be located. Create a random position node, it will be responsible for getting a point around the player at a certain radius. To save the received value, we need to create a blackboard for our tree, where the variables with which it will work. Let's create a vector key where the value of the random position node will be recorded. Call it position. Now we need to link blackboard and behavior tree. For this we need to select the behavior tree and pass the created blackboard there. Next, select random position and select our created key. Then we will create a move to node that will be responsible for the AI movements. We will pass the same key that we created earlier. In order for the AI to take a short pause before moving, add the wait node. Now you need to add a sequencer node that will sequentially execute all these nodes. Call this branch patrol. Let's check the result. To run this tree you need to add the behavior runner component to the AI object on the scene and pass the created tree there. Nice! Now let's add vision. To do this, Create a new sequencer and add the blackboard condition decorator to runs this branch only when the AI sees the player. Blackboard condition is a decorator that checks the compliance of the blackboard key according to the selected condition. Create a transform key and select it in the decorator. Let's add a node to move to target. In order for the AI to take a short pause, add the wait node. If the target key is empty, this branch will be ignored. We will link these branches with a selector node that will select the available branch. Now we can switch between these different branches by changing the target using the perception system. Choose our AI and add the AI perception blackboard component. Add a new site perception config and configure it, change the maximum distance and viewing radius. Choose the transform key where the object that will be noticed by our AI will be recorded. In order for the player to become visible to the AI, we need to add the AI perception source component to the player. Now, as soon as the AI notices our player, the target key will be updated and the tree will be able to go to this branch for execution. Great. Now the AI reacts to the player. Let's add a detection signal. For this we will use the node detection signal. We will add it before the beginning of each branch so that the player has the opportunity to hide from the field of view of AI. Add detection signal component to the AI. Let's check it. Add 
As you can see, the AI goes to the pursue branch after performing the patrol branch. In order for the AI to update the state of the tree, when changing the value of the decorator, set the value of observer abort to both. Let's check it. Good job. In a couple of minutes, we created an AI behavior on the Unity engine using AI tree. Thanks for watching. Definitely get subscribed to see more videos about game development.